talk about this Dynamite show. It opened up with Orange Cassidy and Swerve Strickland for the AEW International title. This match was flat-out awesome, is what this match was. And not only was it awesome, but the crowd was just going crazy for this. And uh, I thought there was a chance Swerve was going to win. He did not. Orange is... He has uh, continued his run. Was it 24-25? But 24. he uh, he reversed a JML driver. Swerve reversed, pulled the tights. Orange reversed, pulled his tights, pinned him. Great wrestling match. And then afterwards, the heels went after Orange. Lights went out. Sting and Darby were there to clear the ring, which also got a huge pop. This opening segment was fire. You hear me? Fire. Then we had Jay White doing a promo at the match with Ricky Starks. A lot of video promos on this in this show, which I'm not complaining about at all, because Jay White and Ricky was the main event, so we got a, a promo hyping that up. We had promos for Forbidden Door, including Okada and Brian Danielson hyping up their match. Man, this thing was over. I was all ready to buy the show. And then later they did another one for Will Ospreay and Kenny Omega. And uh, I'm pretty sure if, if Forbidden Door was a one-hour show with just these two matches— I think the show would do awesome because these two matches, I cannot wait to see both of those. Then we had Moxley, Claudio, Wheeler against my main man Rocky and the best friends who are not as good of friends with Rocky as I am, I might add. And they had a good six man. And, uh, of course, lots of brawling all over the place. It's a BCC match. And then finally, man, this Trent. And this guy just come off a broken neck. Isn't that what he came back from? He tried a moonsault off the middle rope, and in midair, Claudio hit him with a forearm. And, dude, this guy bumped right on the ramp on his head, and it was just brutal. And then Moxley in the ring is stuck in an armbar from Rocky. But uh, you cannot beat death jitsu with jujitsu, unfortunately. And Moxley reversed. He choked him out. Yuta elbowed Chuck. They won a fun nine-minute sprint, which led to the challenge from the Young Bucks and the Hangman. They're going to do a six-man next week. And uh, there will be no Brian, no Takeshita. It's going to be the Hung Bucks, Young Bucks and the Hangman, against the BCC. And, uh, you know, next week's going to be a really interesting week. Because I don't know if you guys know this or not. But, uh, you know, the elite are not fans of, of CM Punk. And CM Punk is not fans of the elite. And, uh, and they both have six-man tags within, like, three days of each other. The, the Young Bucks and Hangman will be having a six-man with the BCC. And, of course, they announced that main event of uh, Collision with CM Punk and, and FTR. And I would bet that both of those teams are probably thinking, you know what? I am not going to be shown up by this other team. So I'm expecting blow-away matches on uh, Wednesday and Saturday from uh, from both of these crews here. We had a video for the Osprey Omega match. Then we had MGF out for a promo, and they had a long promo back and forth, a long one. But, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of people – were uh, complaining about him, Adam Cole of late. Didn't like the match with Jericho. Didn't think that, uh, that he was going to be the right guy to challenge uh, uh, MJF. So the point of this promo was to get this dude over. And so, of course, MJF came out and he buried this guy. And uh, he actually he started by putting him over. You know, I used to envy you and you were great and I watched all your tapes and I wanted to be like you. But then the big line is, well, then you showed up here. What's happened to you? And he makes fun of him for doing nothing but playing video games, sitting inside all day and being pale. Britt Baker leaving the house with his balls in her purse, which Dave Meltzer noted he'd never seen that before. And he says, what about that physique? And so then, of course, Cole says, that's all you got. You were talking about my body. He goes, the thing is, you are a social media troll. You are talking about relationships when you can't even hold one down. You're talking about bodies. He says, how about we both go in the back and pee in a cup, and we'll find out who's natural and who's not. And he says, I appreciate you studied my career, but the fact of the matter is everyone, everyone respects me. Whether I was a good guy or a bad guy, they respect me. 
And I'm, I tell you, he says, I swear on my life, he says, there is not one person in the back that respects you. They think you're lazy. They think you're selfish. They think you're conceited. And you will do the bare minimum to get a paycheck. And you know what? Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd want to fight you, but you won't fight because you're a coward. So he goes to leave. MGF flips out. Don't you turn your back on me. He says, I'll fight you. And so next week on Wednesday, it is a title eliminator with MJF and Adam Cole. And uh, I don't think, I could be wrong, it might happen once. I don't think anyone's ever won a title eliminator to set up a, a championship match. I think this is going to be the first one. I think Cole's beaten him. We had Matt introducing us to their newest member, Ethan Page. He, uh, he says, you know what, we want to make you... A better person. You're a father. You're a husband. We're going to make you better. They're going to get rid of the ego and all ego, Ethan Page. It's going to be hard because he's all ego. If you get rid of his ego, apparently there's nothing. There's nothing left. He won't exist. So that's going to be an interesting feud. Uh, what? Oh, don't start with that. Uh. You didn't say a word this whole review, and then you had to jump in with that horrible thing that you just did there. Uh. And we had Hook and Jungle Boy against Preston Vance and Drillistico in a Texas Tornado match. We all know what's happening. Jungle Boy is going to turn on Hook at some point. Well, I watched this match, and uh, I hope they take their time because they're a fun team. The people like them. You know, this... This was one of the best performances for Hook because he got to get in there and, like, this was a top-of-the-hour segment. There was brawling and blood and violence, and they ended up getting the win, and uh, everybody cheered, and I think they should have a tag run before we do this inevitable split, which everybody is expecting and I think is is a for sure at some point. We had uh, Takesha and Don Callis coming out. Takesha beat Damon Ace. Callis is just like, he is such a heat magnet, second week in a row. And it's not just like people booing him, but they're chanting things I can't say on the radio at Don Callis. And he did largely the same promo he did last week. He's going to cut the elite out of this company for good. Fans are just F you Callis chants the whole nine yards. He, uh, he has more heat than MJF right now because MJF will say things that get cheered. Whereas Callis, he says nothing that gets cheered. He's just hated. And he's out there with those shoes on and, God. The bald ass head looking like that. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? Is I got a lot of heat a few years ago because I had a pair of shoes that were shaped like feet. Yeah, they were hideous. Bro, (laughs) do you know anything about feet? What, do like, you have a fetish for some, but like some 13-year-old bro, girl? Listen, and, yeah, I really listen. like those shoes. I want to get them for me. Whether whether you believe in the Lord or whatever, whatever made you did not make you with shoes. They made you with feet. You came out of the womb barefoot. Well, then people decided, oh, my poor feet hurt. You ever seen an animal cry about their feet hurting? Of course not. But humans are whiny. Oh, my feet. I got I to gotta find something to put on my feet. And so, you know, they, 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 they invented these quad hoppers or whatever, these big things that cover your feet and your toes have, they, your toes can't spread like they did when you were an ape. And, you know, it's just footwear. Horrible. So I finally get a pair of shoes that are, that are designed for actual feet. You know, grow, how many grown men do you see going around wearing mittens? No, they wear gloves, but you wear mittens on your feet. Well, I get gloves for my feet, and I'm I'm a bad guy. Well, I never wore a pair of shoes like this Don Callis. Not once. Not once did I ever wear ruby shoes. I was disgusted. Just disgusted by this guy. God, you go to the airport and those things? Marvez I, uh... interviewed Christian. Okay. They beat up they beat up uh Brock Anderson. His revenge for Arn costing Christian the title in the ladder match. We had Statlander and Anna Jay. I got to say, this Chris Statlander, what, didn't she destroy one knee and then destroy the other knee? Like, she's destroyed both knees? She's for, so. sure, for sure destroyed one. 
But man, she's out there and she's running and she's jumping and she's doing kip ups and she's great. And uh, she beat Anna J. Match was good while it lasted. She tombstoned her and pinned her. And uh, Dave says that Ty is now a heel. I don't know if that's the case. But what I do know is that she's really angry about what happened at the pay per view. Even though what happened was she done got beat and then, you know. Chris came out and, and beat Jay. I don't know what she's How mad about. How was the about. crowd reaction during this match? Was that up for debate? I mean, apparently it was with Dave. I thought that they were just kind of there. He thought they were going crazy. I didn't see that. And it was the same well, thing with the main event. I mean, yeah, listen, I, I do I need to go watch it again? Because you know how I remember that there wasn't a lot of heat? Because Matt Menard was there at ringside. And granted, he's a loud guy. <laughs> But at some point during the show, he yelled something like, ref, he, he just yelled something at the referee. And it was like you, you could hear him two states over. So, well, I don't know. Why are we arguing about this? I don't like arguing. these pointless arguments on this show. Oh, yeah, you, you wouldn't. But let me also say this before you get to the main event about Don Callis. The thing is, too, he's got better heat right now than Dominic Mysterio because a lot of people like to play along when it comes to Dominic and boo the hell out of him. And that's awesome. That's great. But unfortunately, when the match starts... You don't get that. Right now, Takeshita is getting that. Coming out with no music, I like that too. I think that's a cool little thing to do to make sure everybody hears all the booze raining down, and I think that invites more. So right now, the heat that Takeshita has, that Don Callis has, is very good heat. This person up here, I can't even believe what I just read on this chat. He says, this guy at the gym wore those stupid feet shoes. He too had an exaggerated sense of self-worth. What are you talking about? You? Bro, you know what an exact... You think I got a pair of Nikes that are worth $15,000? No. no. I bought a pair of toe shoes on uh, Amazon that cost nothing. What's on your wrist? Oh, the dangles that my daughter gave me? Yeah. Huh? What's on the other one? Switchblade and Ricky Starks had a match, and uh, the match was good. <laughs> because Switchblade is very good. A gold knife. And, uh, somebody in the back. I don't got a gold knife. You want to see, see my filleting knife that I'm saving for Oreo? This one right here, just big enough. Just enough that I, I need. I Oreo gets a ticket for the Hartford show, considering that's where the Whalers were. Brass Bonanza on the way out. Dumb. I hope he goes to where the Whalers are, too, so they can whale him. Hey. Anyway, Switchblade, uh, Switchblade won after there was a Rochambeau. The ref got taken out. And then the ass boys of all people hit the ring, and uh, they laid out Ricky. Then Jay hit the Blade Runner, got the pin. So, uh, obviously, we know that Jay is is uh, getting set up for this big match with CM Punk. But who will team with Ricky against the brother's ass is the I question. I got the answer. Who is I got it? the answer. Stay tuned. When I was going to say, you better break. save this for I'm after the break you know. or you're a horrible host. The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There were the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, Inter I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Yeah. Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> it doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune mm -hmm. and by E. By E? It said by E. Big E. I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. Wow. <laughs> Comic book villain, I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.